So you want to fix your sleep schedule. There's a reason why about one in three adults in the United States reported. Let's get it. Tip number one, get off your phone. Get off the phone. You want to limit your screen time to at least an hour before bed, but some recommend 30 minutes or even two hours. The length of time depends on what you're doing on your device and how much light exposure you had during the day. It's just that simple. Also, I found when I turn all my TVs off and I turn my phone off at the end of the night and I go to read a book like Berserk, um, I found myself halfway through reading the book that I'm actually a lot tired than I usually am and I get a lot more quality sleep overall so so give this a try and let me know how it works tip number two stick to a sleep schedule about 30 percent of adults report having symptoms of insomnia due to lack of having a sleep schedule and as a result it's affecting their daily lives I recommend for me personally I try to get sleep around 11 30 to 12 30 at night it just works the best for me so give it a try tip number three create a restful environment Keep your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet, and you could try to add white noise like a fan or a humidifier or a noise machine if this room is too quiet. You can also block or remove sources of white light or blue light like a clock, cell phone, or a television. Because you don't want to wake up looking like this, bro. <laughs> Tip number four, manage your worries. I noticed when I don't get the most sleep, it's because I'm stressing about certain things or I'm overthinking a certain topic. Try to straighten your room, make a to-do list, and practice self-care before bed. <laughs> Trust me, it goes a long way. Tip number five, avoid caffeine and nicotine. I know this one should be a no-brainer, but a lot of people have heavy addictions to caffeine and nicotine. If you're able to cut this out before bed, you're gonna improve your sleep by a lot, I'm telling you right now. I don't smoke, but I have a heavy caffeine addiction, and this one, I need to take my own advice to be honest. <laughs> Tip number six, have an exercise schedule. So what I usually do for exercise, uh, an hour before the sun goes down, I go for a walk for that entire hour, and then I head back to my house. Once I am back at my house, I try to lift some dumbbells, try to do some cable flies, everything, full body routine, everything. Also, having a good workout program allows you to not only reduce stress, but improve your sleep overall. Tip number seven, eat and drink well. This kind of ties back into what I said about caffeine intake. Don't drink any caffeine before bed. Try to drink enough water and try to, if you have to, try to drink zero sugar or zero calorie drinks. Try to avoid soda and try to avoid tea if you can. If I'm not in the mood for water, I like the sparkling ice drinks or the probiotic sodas by Poppy. Those are one of my favorites and they have no caffeine in it. So, Also, having a good diet plan will help you improve your sleep overall as well. Lowering your carbs and eating a lot more vegetables and a lot of white meat will help you improve your sleep overall from what I've noticed. Tip number eight, limit your naps. So when I get off work at 4 o'clock most days, uh, when I come home, I immediately take a nap, and then I realize that, hey, I can't sleep at the end of the night, so I probably should not do that. But if you guys find it difficult to sleep at the end of the night, probably uh, lower your naps throughout the day. It does help a lot. It helped me a lot, and... Yeah. Also, before we move on, if you guys like these self-improvement videos, I enjoy making them. Please hit the subscribe button. It really does help a lot. Like this video. Comment under this video something you struggle with. But yeah, the support on these videos has been insane, and I appreciate every single one of you. Back to the video. Tip number nine. Adjust your sleep position. I notice I toss and turn a lot when I don't adjust my sleep position at night. The workaround I found for this is I like to tug a pillow between my legs and try to t lay on my side. I can't sleep on my back for some reason. I've tried. Sucks. Also, getting more natural light throughout the day, going outside, going for walks, uh, it helps you not toss and turn a lot at, during the nighttime. Tip number 10. Practice your breathing. I don't hear this one being talked of very often, but practicing your breathing and meditation before bed actually helps you increase your sleep time. The method that I like to use is breathe in for 4 seconds, hold it for 5 seconds, and then let out for 3 seconds. For me, this helps me unwind and relax before I hop in bed at the end of the night, and it improved my sleep a lot. So try this out for yourself, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.